my friend's tissue which she used to wipe her bum and it was green and she was like, where's my poo green? The messages in the girl chat are ever leaked. We're all going to prison. My parents are going to watch this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christy. And I'm Connor. This is VT Challenges. And we're asking girls questions guys really want to know. Mm -hmm. Do you think a guy owning a sex toy is weird? Yes. No. Yes. I've heard like horror stories of people like pulling out vibrators that they've used on like numerous girls. That's gross. I don't know, anal bees just come to the top of my head. Maybe <laughs> I just imagine walking in on like my my boyfriend or you, you know. Just... Me! You're imagining walking <laughs> in on me and your boyfriend. With some anal bees. Sherry, some anal bees. <laughs> back to back. Or, or a double-ended dildo. And I don't know if it sits well with me. If I walk into your room and I see that, I am walking right out without explaining. Because how do I explain that? Are you practicing before you try it on me? Like, yeah. hell no. Does size matter? <laughs> I think we know the answer here. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Definitely. I feel like everybody has a preference and it's a, meant to be a good time. So what I like is what I like. I mean, not that I want a large size, but I don't think I'd necessarily be jumping for joy at a small size either. Mm -hmm. My parents are going to watch this. I'm sorry, I'm not going to sit here and lie. Sad it's, for it's, it's true. Are you okay with your partner watching porn? Yeah. No. Yes. Oh God. Porn's hey. free. And I think having a subscription to someone is like a loyalty. I don't think that that's okay when you're in a relationship. I am quite territorial, one. Okay. Two, why are you watching other people? Even though it's fantasy, it's fake, but why are you watching other people? And three, I'm here. I am the porn. <laughs> Do you ever receive horrifying messages in the girls' chat? No. Yes. Yeah. Oh. If the messages in the girl chat are ever leaked, we're all going to prison. Do you know what's bad? What? Stickers. Oh, oh yeah, stickers are God. bad. Stickers are you so can make, bad. You can make any sticker you yeah, want. Yeah, I've got nudes in my stickers. Yeah, same. What? It's bad. What? It's not Ugh. me. Ugh. I had a picture of my friend's tissue which she used to wipe her bum and it was green and she was like, why is my poo green? Do you find alpha energy attractive? No. No. Yes. <laughs> quite, sometimes quite intimidated by men. Mm. So I feel like I like a bit of a fem effeminate like, like a Harry Styles. It corrects. Yeah. I like it to an extent, but I think it can be cringy sometimes. Yeah, it's all toxic. Like, oh, I've got to tread on other people's toes. Yeah. And I've got to treat people like shit because I'm the top dog. Like, Andrew you're Tate. a if that's the case. Yeah, Andrew don't Tate. listen to yeah, that. Yeah, don't listen to that. that the positive sides of like a man who wants to take care of you, provides for a family, that's the side I like rather than yeah. the negative. Do you care if a guy cries in front of you? Yes. No. No, not at all. That's what? nice. Has anyone else said yes You actually have empathy, wow. What the f <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand the whole like, oh men shouldn't cry and whatever else. And even like when I hear parents still say it to like their kids, oh don't cry, don't be a girl. I just mm. think, oh, don't be silly. Do you care how much your partner earns? No. No? No. Well, it, first instance, I'm such a happiness over money kind of girl, but there probably is just a, you know, a security thing in the back of my head that of course I care a little bit. We will both be comfortable with the amount that we're earning. Um, I do feel like when you start caring, you kind of like strain the relationship a bit. I think like I'd rather you be passionate about your job rather mm -hmm. than being in like a very, very high paid job, but you come home and you're constantly miserable. Does your partner earn a lot? Fair amount, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> there's a little bit of bias over here. Is it okay for your partner to be friends with their ex? No. 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 Oh. If you've dated someone when you were 12 year olds and the most you did was peck on the cheek and hold hands, be my guest to be friends. Mm. What? And you, you're discrediting emotions completely. What if they At had a really deep emotional old, connection? I don't think you know what love is. <laughs> Before I was like, yeah, it's okay. And then I found out that the person that I was seeing was actually still with the ex. Oh, you lived through this. Yeah, I've lived it. I'll tell you for why. Because my boyfriend doesn't have an ex. Oh. So it's all win-wins here, isn't it? You're his first. Yes. Oh. 
Do you think guys cheat more than girls? No. Yes. Yeah. When it comes to cheating, we're good at hiding certain, you know, feelings. Guys, guys are okay. They will do it in your face in the beginning and they'll show you. Females, we will hide that. We'll take it mm. to the grave. My mum's been cheated on. So it's mm. like, from what I know, it's mainly the man to the woman. Men cheat because they're looking for something like a physical, uh, physical attraction, whereas women cheat because they're looking for something and they're not being fulfilled emotionally. Do you find nice guys an ick? No, not at all. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I've always said I like a gentleman, someone who's just nice all over, like in every sense of the word, but maybe I do like a bit of a bad boy. The nice guys are the slow burners. They're the ones that are thoughtful about what they're saying and they don't want the worst for you. They don't want to hurt you. Do you know why? Because I was fooled by one. What would your definition of like a nice guy be? He's a yes man, um, does everything, doesn't back chat to you, doesn't stand his ground. That's a nice guy to me. Yeah. I need a bit of backbone, maybe like you said, the alpha. Is trash talking an ex a red flag? No. Yeah. No. I would say yes, because why have you not moved on and let go of it? But also, have you taken accountability? If you've been so heavily cheated on for years or like manipulated, gaslit and whatever, then I think you can have mm. strong opinions on that said person and be angry and potentially call them names. I don't know, maybe it comes from the panic I've had in the past where like, if someone just speaks so highly of their ex, mm. they're gonna end up them. Do you find it creepy if a guy approaches you to ask you out? No. Yes. No. The way that like people meet, maybe you're accustomed to that. I mean, I didn't meet my fiance that way. If you're being a little freak, a freak around me, then obviously I'm creeped <laughs> out. But if it's in like a ador adoring, oh, please let me take you out way, then <laughs> yes. Please get hold of me, please. <laughs> Why are you approaching me? You don't know me. I think that's weird. 